Shout out to my boy, Spirit Springer, not Jay Springer. Spirit Springer, man, you know how we do it, man. Break train tough, TV to get here. Tough, hold it down with Spirit motherfucker Springer. Spirit Springer. Jerry Springer got your bitch on the ringer And I might make it go tingle, you understand me? Yeah, skirt, skirt, bitch! Yeah, man! What's something that you ain't did that you never got to do when you was on this wave before you got got jammed up? What's something that you're you planning to accomplish now, this time? Break the bitch for a hundred thousand. <laughs> That's a high goal, bro. Yeah. But it's attainable. It's attainable, but you gotta... You gotta let the outside vote for a couple months, but sit that hundred thousand up, right? What it do, man? Yeah, for sure, show. My nigga drippy. Yeah, man, rock star shit, man. Shit, man, we out here, man. Like, niggas, like what? See, I'm on my second channel, but niggas, if you really was tuned in, original channel, we was going viral. Everything drippy was on, bro. Niggas like going viral. But shit, niggas just got home, bro. Like a week ago. Damn. Shit, right? And niggas right back to it. Yup. Bro, shit, like, I don't even want to ask you what all happened, but it's like, how long was niggas gone, bro? I was gone for like a year and a half. Bro, yeah, did, yeah. did you know you was finna be gone that, that long? Hell nah. I thought I was gonna come straight home. Damn. But I got a situation in Arizona where I can't burn out, so, cause I got three cases in Arizona right now, so. It was also shit like, I can't burn out, so I had to sit this shit up. Damn. But shit, niggas came back right. Niggas got their shit rebraided. Niggas, niggas back to dripping and everything, yeah, man. Dripping and pivoting, man. That's the only way. So we just dropped the, we just dropped the no bottoms. But like, low key, I'm already knowing. Niggas, Ben had some shit in the holster. Like, really, that was, you know, what I'm saying. You, yeah, that shit. Oh. Yeah, and it's been going crazy. Yeah, you gotta hit a new shit though. The new shit. Yeah. Oh my god. Stupid. Man, bro, let's like on some real refresh niggas. Like, all right, so I remember like about maybe a year or two years ago, niggas slide down to DFW, start pushing up with sauce, link up with half pint, drop a video, and then shit, just link up with other niggas like Bugatti and shit. Niggas is going crazy out here, bro. How was you feeling about like when you was in there and you thinking about the shit? Did you realize like how much you did in just a little bit of time? Yeah, hell yeah, but I was fucked up because. That year and a half that I spent in jail, I could have did way more shit. Like, I only been out a week, like a week. I've been with Meek Mills and all type of shit. Like, oh, God. Yeah, yeah, so that's really what was fucking me up, knowing that I could have been doing more than what I was doing. Well, that nigga, I know Sauce probably chopped some game with you or something, just let you know, like. Yeah, for sure, so. Like, shit, you ain't gotta give me the full combo, but shit, like, what y'all talk about? Cause bro been in New York this whole time, it's perfect timing when he gets out, gets yeah. back from there yeah. and link with you, but. Shit, what was you know y'all? What was that initial conversation like when y'all linked up? Basically, he keeps telling me just to stay out the streets and take care of the rap shit, cause the rap shit really was gonna help us you feel me? live the life that we want to live. That nigga Drippy really deep in it too, man. Yeah. Cause low key, bro, I got old footage and I posted on the new channel. And that bitch went even more viral than the when I posted on the my first channel. It was when we was in Austin. I, you know, niggas was on stage when Sauce was performing, and you know. Shout out to Drippy because I'm only out there because you you know you threw me the invite but like niggas was on stage with you know the you know. Drip? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Yeah, yeah. So shit, like even then, you know what I'm saying, and you had the, the thing thing on you, so I'm like, niggas look at Drippy like, is Drippy a rapper? Is he the you know the you know it's just I'm both. Word. <laughs> For real. The original. I'm the, I'm the shooter and the, the you know how Cash Money was? Yeah. They had Turk and BG and all them and Uthu. Yeah. I'm Lil Wayne. <laughs> yeah. On me. Sure. Shit, okay, and so then you had that song Go Tell, or is it, how do you pronounce it? Go Tell. Go Tell. And that shit was insane, and I remember you told me that shit meant Drip God in another language, right? In Portuguese. That nigga went crazy. That's wild. And then Sauce ends up coming out with Drip God, the mixtape, or album, you know what I'm saying? Mixtape, album, whatever you want to call it. I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, the drip is all within family, you know what I'm saying? But, shit, bro, just to see what everything he's doing, you know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga, bro, he dropped it. Ghetto Gospel, that's the shit that, you know? That's the shit that got everybody looking at him different, you know what I'm saying, since then. But, uh, shit, what do you think about everything that's gone on since then? You got Sauce going crazy in New York and shit. Jay-Z done showed love to him. Um, the Drake shit somewhat fixed, I think, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas tapped in, and then shit, you got nigga, new niggas, you know what I'm saying? Peso, you know, turning up. You got even Brazy trying to turn up out here, and, uh, you know, Vucci done turned up even more. No, turn up, we drip. He said we drip. Yeah. Niggas is dripped up. Okay. Yeah, there you go, we drip up. What's gonna be different this go around, bro? 
shit, I'm gonna stay out of jail. <laughs> I be I be telling wild stories, but not too much. But like when people always ask me, like, yo, what was your wildest interview? I always mention the one I we originally did when we was in Fort Worth. No, we was in Fort Worth. And I had the two hoes. I mean, you said it. I, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was. <laughs> A lot of niggas didn't like that shit sounded crazy to me. I'm like, man, niggas is really, really, really with the shits, man. Really pimping. We really doing this shit we rap about. That's what make us so diverse from other rappers. Cause you hear like anything like rappers be like, shoot a nigga, <laughs> kill a nigga. I'm woot woop, I'm selling bricks and woot woop. But we really doing this shit. Like we really pulling up in Bentleys and Maybachs and shit. Like we really doing this shit. Like, oh God. What do you think? Like, what's like shit? I know you gave broke it down back then, just like Dallas and Fort Worth. But I noticed that like niggas, a lot of, like Houston niggas, been pulling up a lot more now recently in the past couple of years. I don't know if the shit's getting turned up. Where nobody want to fuck with Dallas rappers before this? Who was? Uh, nobody. You right? I mean, on some old school. Sh nobody. Damn. So TSF, TSF connected Houston and Dallas Fort Worth. For shit, so. On God. For shit show, I love Dallas Fort Worth. For shit show, hell uh, yeah. You think, you think outside of Texas? I mean, in Texas, this like probably like where you got the most fans outside of Houston. Nah, Austin. Austin, niggas yeah. fuck with you heavy in Austin. Fucking right. Damn. They be blowing my DMs up. They still want that motherfucking um. What the fuck, purses? I'm mad because, bro. You got locked up like a week or two before South by Southwest, and I remember hitting you up like, yo, bro, you pulling up? And niggas was like, yeah. And then I get out there, and I was like, yo, where's Drippy? Niggas is like, oh, man, he gone. I, I was like, damn. I, bro, so do you feel like you still ain't even seen everything that you're, like, destined to see with this shit? Did you, nah, hell nah. So you don't think you got to, like, fully enjoy it as much? Like, you did, but you kind of shit kind of got taken from you before you could even really. Right. Damn. Yeah. Did niggas recognize you in jail? Yeah, yeah. I'm famous in Houston. Word? Yeah. What was niggas saying to you up in there, bro? Like, niggas ni was just tripping. They want me to put them on. They want me to rap for them. And all type of shit. Show them how to pimp. And like, yeah. Just all type of shit. Shit crazy. And that's funny because it's like, now it's like the roles is changing because it's like, low key, you met Sauce in jail, right? Yeah, for sure. So. And so it's like, if you look at it, you damn near in a position he might have been. Now it's like, shit, you finna get out and just use that whole shit. And it's like, all right, we not going back there. And I'm about to pipe, you know what I'm saying? Just turn up this whole drip up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The whole game. But was there any difference from that time, those times when you met Sauce to NGL, and this time, was it more? Like, because I don't know where your mindset was back then, but I remember you took, like. Back then, I was on some straight savage shit. I just wanted to shoot guns and rob and do all that other type of shit, baby. And that's why I focus on because he really put me on a whole nother lifestyle, like on some like, bro, you don't gotta do that. You can do this right here. Yeah. And have a way better life than what you got right now. You feel me? Damn. Yeah. So open your eyes to some other shit. shit Damn, bro. What's uh shit, give me give me something that's like what was like a, it doesn't have to be a full in depth story, but what was like a dope ass time or memory or something cool as fuck where he's like, Damn nigga, I'm not like I never knew I'd be doing this shit. When I met Rick Ross. Where at Rose? Yeah, Rose. I met that nigga at um, Limelight. Where's that at? Houston? Yeah, Houston. Damn. Yeah, yeah. And was niggas cool? Yeah, he cool with the bitch. He told me to keep grinding because a, a bitch that he was fucking with, I was fucking with the bitch too, you feel me? And she was telling him about my music and shit. And he was like, he fuck with it type shit. Yeah. That's my friend right there. So that video. Really, I know people want to see them visuals. It's not really about the audio nowadays, it's about the visuals. Yeah. Yeah, so straight videos. Hell yeah! You just gonna be dropping new shit, or you finished? St you still got a whole bunch of shit in the holster, like? Nah, fuck the old shit. Word. Yeah, fuck the old shit. The new shit too crazy. I'm gonna ask you this: What's something that's changed since you? I know you weren't gone forever, but in the little year and a half or so, like, what's something that's different about the whole rap shit, or just even life, bro? Um, ain't shit really different. Word. Yeah. You don't feel like niggas done turned up even more, dripped up? <laughs> I mean, yeah. But that's expected. That's what you're supposed to do. Facts. Yeah. yeah. On me. On me. Shit. Any new tattoos, man? Nah, no new tattoos. Niggas still. Remember, my niggas like the first and the only with the Mr. Burns. Oh, my nigga got Scooby Doo. On, I ain't even. My nigga been out here with the with the rare tattoos. I've been doing this these cartoon tattoos. Not niggas. Not everybody trying to get cartoon tattoos. Shit, I really did this shit first. You feel me? But we ain't gonna bring that up. Though. Real nigga. Yeah. 
Real nigga shit, bro. I'm a, I'm a just, you know, because I know we're going to get more exclusives and shit. I'm trying to slide out to Houston and tap in on, you know what I'm saying, on a super exclusive. We can make it happen. But shit, I'm going to ask you my rare and I'm a couple finished sentences. On some cool shit, I've asked you before. I can't remember. If you could be on the original version of any song of all time, what song would it be? This song featuring Drippy. Tyler Swift, Bad Blood. <laughs> I remember because when we did the first interview, I asked you if you, if you could have anybody in your stable, the number one was Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That nigga's... I love Taylor Swift. Word. Taylor, Taylor Swift's the number one draft pick. For shit, show. Man, oh God. Okay, finish the sentence. Drippy showed the world. Drip. Whoa. Drippy is, Drippy was. Finish the sentence. Drip. On me. For shit, show. But then I'm. This is random, just because of the name. You know, I don't even have to keep this part in here. But niggas, do you pay attention to niggas like Gunner? Was Gunner popping before you? Before nah, Gunner wasn't popping, but he was. Like I knew who he was. I had met the nigga in Atlanta a couple times. Word up. So niggas know who niggas is. Yeah, for sure. So. Cause you know his whole shit is. Gunner the know who everybody in the south city is. Word. Gunner know J Rag. Gunner know Ice Man. Gunner know. Gunner know he watch. He pay attention. So you, do you think like niggas pay enough homage to the drip shit? Not just him, but just rappers in general. Nah, he don't pay no homage to the drip. No. Nah. That's what I'm saying, cause it's like a lot of people associate that shit with him. Yeah. But we knowing out here, but we from out here. Yeah, we from out here. But do you think is it just him, or do you feel like everybody else knows what's up, or is it just a, still a few people that? I mean, I feel like niggas know what's up. Yeah. But the fact that they. You gotta think these artists are really they really have relationships with each other, they friends and shit, like they go party and all type of shit with each other, you feel me? So they gonna support whatever the nigga is doing, whatever he doing. Yeah. No matter what he doing, he could be talking about eating hoes, booty hoes, whatever. <laughs> Kim Gates, niggas love Kim Gates and he eat ass and shit like you feel me? Yeah. So niggas gonna support gonna just for the simple fact of who he is and they wanna be around him and they wanna Facts. Yeah, so it don't matter what he talking about, he could be talking about robbing daycares and <laughs> Whatever the niggas gonna vouch for this shit just because of who he is and who he who he up under and shit like that. Man. That shit really got me. And that was one of my favorite interviews, the original. It was so it was so hot that niggas really uh, had got my original shit flagged when we had that shit, bro. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Wild. That's stupid. And then, oh, you know, it was a, a class one that niggas fucked with. And I don't know if, because you went, got locked up not too long after, but the, the, the lean one on one, bro. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, niggas fucked with that one. Yeah. The, when I had my original channel, that bitch went up, bro. But you really gave niggas the game. Is niggas still, is niggas still pouring sixes? Yeah, for sure. Sure. Is that still That's the? I've been sleep. I pulled <laughs> it today. I pulled a, I pulled a six and a twenty ounce Gatorade. <laughs> yeah. Damn, Gator. So niggas ain't fucking with the Bream soda? Nah, I don't fuck with this shit. I don't fuck with no sodas. It's all juice. Word. Okay. It's strong. Yeah. It ain't strong. Yeah. Real shit. And niggas be doing all that ice with two cups and all that. That shit got fuck this shit. <laughs> I put that shit in the bottle and drink that shit. Drippy Sad. said it's a new era. Yeah. Word up, man. This is motherfucking Rockstar Drippy, the one and only TSL gang, 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 102 Power. Grab your finger and click on Spare Springer, man. Yeah.